Right, um, time to welcome our guests on tonight. Uh, all the way from the far wilds of Yorkshire and such places, um, and Bratford and Leeds and all that. Um, would you welcome, um, I think for the first time in their new form, very fine traditional singing group from England, Swan Arcade. Come on, give them a hand. Lines to Valentine's Day, bright feebles shone clear. We had not been out hunting for the space of one year. Last Valentine's Day, bright feebles shone clear. We had not been out hunting for the space of one year. I mounted black clover, that's ours of great fame. For to hear the arms blow and the words tally ho, tally ho, tally ho, hark forward who says tally ho, hark hark into cover, can a window me cried, he had no sooner spoke than a foxy has bite. Hark, hark, into cover, can the wind a me cried. He had no sooner spoke than a foxy had spied. Tally ho was the word, and then crack the whip. And that been the signal, our hands they let slip. Tally ho, tally ho, hark forward Jim Norris, who cared not a pin, when he pushed at the stream and his horse tumbled in. Then up stepped Jim Norris, who cared not a pin, when he pushed at the stream and his horse tumbled in. And as he crossed over, he spied the bone wren, with her tongue hanging out, turning back to her den. Tally ho, tally ho, hark forward who says tally ho. Our hounds and our horses, they all were so good, as ever broke cover or dashed through a wood. Our hounds and our horses, they all were so good, as ever broke cover or dashed through a wood. So come fill up your glasses and round let us drink. For whilst we are hunters we never will shrink. Tally ho, tally ho, hark forward who said tally ho. Um, that was a, you look terrible. That was a fox hunting well, song. Aye. It was called Last Valentine's Day. Uh, next song is. Uh, um, next song is about a famous Englishman called Benbow. Or he might have been a Scotsman, I don't know. Um, but anyway, we're famous. And there were a lot of songs written about him, and this is one on them. Uh, this is this is a song about when he died, being a, he was a sailor, a rear admiral he became, and then he died, getting like being a, a rear admiral. And this song comes from when he got killed at West Indies in a big bloody battle at West Indies. He got killed, and this song's about that when he got killed. You'll have seen the film about it anyway. It's called. Admiral Benbow. It doesn't have a chorus like last one, uh, and and sort of form your own for singing choruses like then, 
don't really matter um, um, <laughs> no, I don't have a chorus, but as an obvious bit to join in on end at last verse, when, you, when we get to last verse, you'll see which is last verse, obviously, and if you want to sing obvious bit what happens at end at last verse, then you're very welcome to do that. It's called that middle bend. What the song doesn't tell you is that this engagement was one that took place because... Uh, Bembo, who was, I, I think he must have been sort of bound for glory or something, was really hot foot to kill the frogs, you know, like uh, stomp them down and, and get her own back for not getting into the common market and things of that sort. And um, he was sailing along with several ships, as a matter of fact, and at least three of his captains decided they didn't like the smell of escargots and went the other way, and he was left to fight the, the battle more or less on his own, him and two other ships just about. Horribly outnumbered they was. Mangled indeed, but they won. They were round to the captains. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, noble and somebody or other, wasn't it? Shut your mouth, Hutchison. I'll be doing there with my rope. Is that the singing joiner being a bit of a fist again? <laughs> You, will, you can come up and sing Have You Got a Light Boy later on. was a brigantine sloop and we asked if the others were as big as they looked when turning to windward as near as we could lie we found there were ten men of war cruising by we drew up a squadron in very nice line and boldly we fought them for full four hours time But the day being spent, boys, and night coming on We left them alone till the very next morn The very next morning the engagement proved up and Admiral Benbow, he received a chain shot And when he was wounded to his merry men he did say Take me up in your arms boys and carry me away All the guns they did rattle and the bullets did fly not Admiral Benbow, for help would not cry. Take me down to the cockpit, there is ease for me, smart. If, if me merry men see me, it'll sure break their heart. The very next morning, by break of the day, we hoisted our topsails and so bore away We bore to Port Royal where the people flocked much To see Admiral Benbow carried to Kingston and Church Come on you brave fellas wherever you've been let us drink to the health of our king and our queen And another good health to the girls that we know And a third in remembrance of brave Admiral Ben
This is where, assisted by my friend here, my large friend here, I play a tune on my handbag. What we're actually going to do is give you a couple of tunes. <laughs> I always say this quite optimistically because only once, I think, have we ever played these tunes through without completely ballsing them up. One is called uh, Someone Teals Up the Water. And it's from uh, Northumberland, you know. It's a Northumberland small pipe tune, which we got from a small Northumbrian piper, who recorded it on topic. His name was Jack Armstrong, and he used to be the Duke of Northumberland's porcelain old paper lake. In fact, he still is his porcelain old paper, but he doesn't pipe anymore because his fingers have fallen off, you know. And uh, the second tune we're going to play is a rather chunky little English country dance <laughs> tune, the, the sort that, uh, I don't know, uh, you don't look like the kind of people who get yourselves down to places like Cecil Sharp House, where you find all these really weird people <laughs> in f sort of orange felt dirndl skirts and uh, terrible sort of bla blazes. They wear blazes. And they, they got these little sort of tunics, a great big EFDSS... Uh, whatever you call it, symbols on, on, on the back of them. Like and they're prance, 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 doing dances. What prance around dances. looking like butcher's assistants. And this is one of the dances that they do. The, the disadvantage about the dances is that they're ugly looking dances. They're really prissy looking dances. Um, but they do some very nice tunes and this is one of them. And it's called Nancy's Fancy.
I'm not inclined to, to believe that one should sort of actually stick to songs from the area where you live or where you were born. Partly, I suppose, because if, if I stuck to songs that come from the area where I was born, I'd be limited to Thornton Heath and nothing ever happened there. Thornton Heath is a sort of suburb of Streatham, which is a suburb of somewhere else, which is a suburb of somewhere else. And I mean, it's like collecting it's songs from... a suburb of Scotland! <laughs> which is like collecting songs from Regent's Park, you know. <coughs> or the Maritime Museum or something. Um, what I can do is cheat a little and take a song from East Anglia because I'm a sort of East Anglian by adoption. <coughs> Namely, I adopted East Anglia. They didn't really, didn't really want me. But East Anglia got me. Uh, I live in Suffolk and this song was uh, given to the world by an old boy who, lives, who lived in Norfolk up until about four years ago. Harrah Cox, he was called. Blast, he was a fine old singer. By God, he was. He was a grand old boy and he had all the greatest filthy songs in the world. He used to sing them a great relish right up until he was about 86, boy. I think he fell, I think he fell over and died laughing at one of his own songs, as a matter of fact. And this is called The Man of Burnham Town. It's got a... <coughs> it has, it's got a cough at the end of each verse. It's got a sort of refrain. <coughs> Well, I've sussed out what refrain means. It means you refrain from singing until the end of the verse and then you <coughs> sing the, uh, the end of the verse with the unfortunate bastard who's up in front being paid to sing. <coughs> so what happens is that, listen, listen, if it's great cow und exactitude to the last line in each verse und I will then sing a little sort of tagline, oh boy, or something of that description, Uwashibam, and you will sing the line, therefore, after me, and with me. You will have no bother at all because I will this song be singing alongside you, so you will be perfectly safe. There will also be questions afterwards. <laughs> Oh my God, Coca-Cola is the best drink in the world to, 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 to sing on. Ah. Man of Burnham Town. You mind if I put my finger over me here? It's because I can only half. It's because I can only half bear to hear myself. In Burnham Town, there lived a man and he had such a lovely wife. And so dearly she loved company, so dearly she loved her life and boy's life, so dearly she loved her life. And now this poor man he went to, to see his living for to get. And where he spent to one penny, she'd spent two. And it's all for the want of a wit, boy's wit. It's all for the want of a wit. And now this poor man came home from seeing it, and being late in the night. Uh, he inquiring for his own dear love Was his joy and his heart's delight And boy's light Was his joy and his heart's delight And now she's down to her sister's home Shall I go fetch her in? Oh no, my dear, I'll go myself and ask myself to drink and boys drink and ask myself to drink. And as he was a going along the road, he heard such a dismal noise. And who should it be but his own dear wife all along with the Birmingham boys, brave boys, all along with the Birmingham boys. And now um, this poor man he stood a thinking his heart was nearly broke. And then he went back and he sent the maid while he prepared a rope and boys rope while he prepared a rope. And then she's come a jumping and skipping in and give to him such a joyful kiss and saying welcome home my husband dear long time you have been missed and boys missed long time you have been missed 
And so we'll bar the door so neat and snug and the lanterns go to bed. For the pain that lies within my heart, I can no longer rest, and boys rest, I can no longer rest. And so he took a stick and he beat her so, till she was a wonderful sore. For and bear, for bear, my husband dear, and I'll never do so no more, me boys more. I'll never do so no more. And so come all you women of a burned town, and a warning take by me. And don't go drinking your husband's money while he is out to sea, boys, see, while he is out to sea. This is two songs, one followed closely after other one, except for a change of key. Because second song is our lower than first song and needs to go up so as to be, I will be able to be singing it. Um, That's technical Yorkshire musical language. <laughs> um, <laughs> so is that. <laughs> first song is a, a tribute to a great singer what died tragically Indeed, like in a North American aeroplane crash a few years ago. Sad. And it's one of his biggest number <coughs> one hits on jukeboxes in this country and a lot of other countries all over the world. And second song is a song learnt from a friend of ours, Alistair Cameron, from Pete Pitt's Pot of Vins Ogden, what's near Halifax like? <laughs> um, and that's sort of fairly well. That's sort of fairly well known. Uh, both of them sort of sad and, and cryable as well. <coughs> so if you want a sad and cry over them or be ill over them or sing them even, because they're fairly the well known, then, then you can help yourselves to whatever you want to do. The loudest F sharp in the world. <coughs> <laughs> These Scottish tours do me a world of good, yeah, they really do. Awake, 
does to get for doing that. Fifteen bob I cried. Well, he looked at me in a silly sort of way and lifted up his hat and he cried. Come in a sight, silly bugger, come inside. I thought that I'd have a bit more sense. I work him for a living, so take my tip. Why don't you pack it all in and become a lunatic? Oh, that gets the meals a regular. And two new suits besides. So, if there's a wife and kids to keep on 15 of a week, come inside, silly bugger. Come in and right, I finish at us first spot and close the club with Another fox hunting song uh, from Sussex called The Bright Shining Morning. First line of every verse repeats. Um, there's a bit at middle that goes, and the murray, murray, murray on cries, come, come away. And the murray, murray, murray on cries, come, come away. There's a chorus at end that goes, I wake from your slumbers and hail the new day. I wake from your slumbers and hail the new day. And it's called the bright shining morning. Shining morning, and it doesn't that's have any romantic day. overtones, so that's the wrong song. <laughs> All you've got to do is sing like Joe Buggery. <laughs> if you never heard him, you're lucky. La la. Oh, 
Columbus, and I'll have you dead. Away from your slumbers, and I'll have you Yellow glasses, let the dogs go around. We'll drink to all hunters wherever they're found. Come and fill up your glasses, let the dogs go around. We'll drink to all hunters wherever they're found. And I'll learn you day away from your slumbers, and I'll learn you. Thank you, Dave. Um, never. That was Swan Arcade. We'll have a wee break now for about five minutes or so. <laughs> There's a famous seaside place called Blackpool. Come on, for Christ's sake, boy. Start off with a... Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, that's no good when you really know, is it? A shape, not him. Royston do it, it's best now. The thing that is here. Hello. Bonjour. Is it a beat? Yes. I don't know whether you call it choruses to hymns or not, <coughs> but this hymn has a chorus. <coughs> Goes Babylon is fallen, is fallen, is fallen. Babylon is fallen to <coughs> rise no more. You sing it twice because twice is twice as good as once. Ah. <laughs> Fallen is fallen, is fallen, 
Babylon is fallen to rise no more. Babylon is fallen, is fallen, is fallen. Babylon is fallen to rise no more. That was from Alabama. That poem was from Alabama. <laughs> this is a uh, this is a request from Jimmy Hutchinson. Uh, it comes from Big Bugs for the Fucks to... Uh, what's, what's a bit nasty for me, like, because being a Yorkshireman, it's a bit akin to sing Lancashire songs. It's not right. But this is a... This is the only Lancashire song I ever bend my mind to and sing. And I haven't sung it for a while, like, because I give up singing it for some reason. It's got odd bits in it that you got to join in. That are that choruses, really. And they aren't refrains because they don't happen at the end, they happen in the middle and all over the shop. There's two, two, three bits what you join in. Ta ra ra ra, roll up, roll up, and title what happens every verse and all, and that's Rotten Stall Annual Fur. Boy, come. <clears throat> if there's any Lancashire folk in, I'm sorry about my Yorkshireman's poor copy of a Lancashire accent, but then it's meant to be a poor copy of a Lancashire <laughs> accent. Yes, it's a very planned appearance. Cheerio, Jim. Jim's away. The rest of them sing. Cheerio, Jim. I slipped out quite a Down be Down behind the gas works, down in Rotten Stall. That's a little town in Lancashire, Tarara. Alas, sat the neat, me and lads. Hey, bagum, we had some right good cheer. There were coconuts and candy floss and figurettes and roundabouts. Weren't we all surprised when we heard the showman shout? Roll up, roll up. Come and see the fat girl, for it is stone her loveliness and every inch her arm. Hey, she were a big un, we accent on the big, and all the lads we walking sticks kept giving her a dig. She were a great big lassie, we reckoned her a chassis, were blowed up with her, I do declare. Hey, well, everything were champion till some silly clown. He stabbed her with a pin and said the showman with a frown. All hands to the pumps, lads, my vessel's going down. At the rotten stall, and you are a fair tarara. A roll up, roll up, come and see the mermaid. See the lovely lady, half a woman, half a fish. In went the lads, and just for a prank, young Davy Craig, he poured some whiskey in the tank. Oh, she got frisky, swimming in the whiskey. And next time she come up for air, she bowed to the audience, she gave the tail a swish. Her tail, it come off, he and lad, she looked delish. She says, what's your fancy lads, a bit of mate of fish? At the rotten stall, and you are a fair tarara. A roll up, roll up, see the ass a mystery. Ladies pay a tanner to get tittled in the dark. In went the lads, just for a peep. The showman pulled a lever and landed in an heap. All right, Danny shot him, a right to the bottom frills, and faldy rolls were everywhere to see. <laughs> there was screaming, ooh, shouting, everything were rife. I seen more dirty linen than I'd seen in all my life. And I seen some funny things I'd never seen upon me wife. At the rotten stall, and you all a fair tarara. I roll up, roll up, see the tattooed lady 
see the lovely lady with the pictures on the skin. In went the lads, and they raised a cheer, for tattooed on her form were all the towns of Lancashire. There were odds of bottom, Manchester City. Town all standing in the square. There were Oldham and Bolton and Ashton underline. And coil pits at Wigan, they were looking fine. Till some silly bugger shouts, Dad, don't go down the line. At the Rotten Star, I knew I. Sea Shanty. I don't often actually get the chance to sing them these days, but I used to very much like to. And this is one I used to like to sing very much indeed. It's called General Taylor. Uh, can't remember the chorus. Walk him along, John, carry him along, is the first part of the chorus. Carry him to his burying ground is the second part of the chorus. And we want you all to sing like the aforementioned Joe Buggery. <laughs> oh, General Taylor's dead and gone. Walk him along, John, carry him along. Well, General Taylor, he's dead and gone. Carry him to his burying ground. To me, why are you stormy? Walk him along, John, carry him along. Away, hey, you stormy. Carry him to his burying ground. He fought on the field of all Monterey. So walk him along, John, carry him along. And Santiana regain the day. Carry him to his burying ground. To me, why are you stormy? Walk him along, John, carry him along. Away, hey, you stormy. Carry him to his burying ground. I wish that I was a General Taylor's son. So walk him along, John, carry him along. I'd build me a ship of a thousand tons. Carry him to his burying ground. To me, way, hey, you stormy. Walk him along, John, carry him along. Away, hey, you stormy. Carry him to his burying ground. I'd fill that old ship with a New England rum. So walk him along, John, carry him along. And all of me shipmates, they could have a psalm. Oh, Carry him to his burying ground. To me, way, hey, you saw me. Walk him along, John. Carry him along. To me, way, hey, you saw me. Carry him to his burying ground. There'd be a drink and for every hand. Walk him along, John, carry him along. 
And the double tucked for the shanty man Carrying to his burying ground Tell me where are you stormy Walk him along and John carry him along to me This is another request. Black pudding. Black pudding. Black pudding. Aggies. Aggies. Any advance on Aggies? Black pudding. Pride of. Pride of A request for a. A request for a song. What we haven't sung for a while because we got sick of where we were doing it. But. But the fellow that asked for it said it sounded bloody smashing like that. Or it sounded bloody smashing or something like that. Aye, that's what you say. Okay, so we're dead, so we're dead, Jock. It's another hunting song, but has a lot of odd bits that happen two or three times, and a long chorus and all that sort of shit. So if you want to join in anywhere, you can do. And it's called All of Me Fancy Dwells Up on Nancy. No, it isn't. It's called Let Books and Hunting Go. But that's most of the choruses. All of me fancy dwells up on Nancy and I'll sing tallyo and I'll sing tallyo and I'll sing tallyo because all of me fancy it dwells up on Nancy and I'll sing tallyo and it's called Let Books and Hunting Go and the chorus goes all of me fancy <laughs> and it doesn't have any romantic over Can you remember? No. La la. I don't know about <clears throat> that one. If you want to improve on it. <clears throat> la la. La la. Mm. Take it what? You want to try it out? Because you could probably <coughs> go higher. It could possibly not as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, baby. <coughs> this one's okay, I think. Wait, 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 wait. With the hound and dawn each rosy morn, let books a hoodin tingle. Oh, with the hound and dawn each rosy morn, let books a hoodin tingle. And with, 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 okay. with, with the hound and dawn each rosy morn, let books. So old and tingle, oh, with hound and dawn, each rosy morn, let books so old and tingle, and I'll sing to the hoe, I'll sing to the hoe, all of me fancy dwells upon Nancy, and I'll sing to the hoe. Where she may wife, how sweet may life in station I all love. Where she may wife, how sweet may life in station I all love. And I'll sing tally ho, I'll sing tally ho. All of me fancy dwells upon Nancy, and I'll sing tally ho. The sweetness of her voice, I'm sure, would charm for Anna's world. The sweetness of her voice, I'm sure, would charm for Anna's world. And I'll sing Tally Ho! I'll sing Tally Ho! All me fancy was upon Nancy, and I'll sing Tally Ho! Midst was a larums, a sweetness, charums, and I'll sing tally ho. Oh, it was a larums, a sweetness, charums, and I'll sing tally ho. And I'll sing tally ho. I'll sing tally ho. All me fancy dwells upon Nancy, and I'll sing tally ho. With hound and dawn, each rosy morn, let books a hoodin tingle. With hound and dawn, each rosy morn, let books a hoodin tingle.
First traditional holiday home, Shipley Glen. All oh, what happens up there and all exciting things, what you could do and can do and couldn't do and wouldn't do and won't do. The chorus goes, we were amongst them, we were amongst them. We slished and we slashed and we slaughtered and we slew till the air four miles around was blue. For an hour and a quarter we held the four at bay. There were only two we left that day and we were amongst them. <laughs> All you got to do is sing like the aforementioned Joe Umar. Look <laughs> mm. like a beer, chap. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> it's usually A, isn't it? It's usually A. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to my brains. <clears throat> I must have left them <coughs> in the nest.
Way for the away. So Dave Brady, opportunity knocks. Way. <laughs> Australian version called uh, Kangaroo Tail Pie. <laughs> would you, would you actually, uh, <laughs> actually, we're going to leave you with a little bit of religion because this is Sunday and we're going home, see? Got a long way to go all the way to Brisbane and uh, by the time we get there it's not going to be Sunday anymore. In fact, it's going to be next Tuesday week. And that all happens in one night's flying. We're going to sing a song which was uh, completely reduced to rubbish by a Scottish pipe band, which has nothing to do, nothing to do with the fact that the pipes ain't good. They're all right in their place, you know. Hey, what's what you're saying, George? <laughs> yeah, in Australia we use them as vacuum cleaners. <laughs> and these, there were these, there were these gentlemen. Uh, Gentlemen in one of your regiments, I don't know which one it was, I think it was the, uh, the 17th Argyle and Black Pudding Highlanders, and uh, they, uh, they played this thing after a certain uh, vague acquaintance of mine called Judy Collins got going and, and ruined it as well, because the way she did it was very sort of soft-like, and this thing is supposed to be sung like you many. Now, I don't know why I'm speaking in this stupid Australian accent, but I'm just sick of the American one I usually use. Hey, excuse me a minute, we forgot to switch. Got all the gear, got all the gear. You're all right now. American, huh? Oh, thank you. We're going to sing Amazing Grace the proper way. And uh, that means... That means swoops up to all the notes and, and sort of wrong harmonies and uh, grating sounds but it sounds absolutely great this is how the sacred heart people in in places like alabama and uh, west virginia sing it and george <coughs> c bar and george yeah yeah nashville new york dog mark <laughs> we're going to give it to you the southern way like how many grits and things like that now and nigger beating and things of that sort all them sports those red knights going for down there now What we do, what I'll do is line each verse out for you. We all, we all know, we all know the chorus. Amazing, shut up! Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. And uh, 
But the verses not all of us know, so what I do is line them out in front of each line, you know. So uh, we don't actually sort of sing the verses all the way through. It sounds like... <laughs> Poor old sacroiliac, it really suffers doing all these things. So the verses are sort of broken up a bit, but it sounds quite groovy because you can sing them all. Start with the chorus. <laughs> we will sing it in the key of Yale. <laughs> no, no, I'm singing that one. That one's okay. Yeah. That's fine with me. I give up singing bass and sing melody for a bit. <coughs> Everybody sing A Amazing Grace with us, starting on A. Amazing. <coughs> Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that
Anyway, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, that for tonight is it. And I'd like you to put your hands together and a big thanks to Swan Arcade and to Jimmy Hunt. Hey!